France is the latest country in Europe to take measures to protect and train its civil population in defensive measures during gas and air raids in time of war. In Paris, a mock air attack is staged in all seriousness by the Ministry of War. Gas masks are distributed among certain chosen of the population, and fire brigades and ambulances lend a clanging touch to the intended drama of the occasion. It's quite an impressive display, but as Paris is a gay city in time of peace, the Parisians don't take it too seriously, and a large number of spectators turn out, without gas masks, to watch the official demonstrations. Yet, all the same, Frenchmen, for all their light-heartedness, are not unaware of the peril which can swoop down upon them within a few hours from European frontiers. Professor Picard, Belgian balloonist, who struts in the stratosphere ten miles or so up, takes a busman's holiday in Poland. Je suis tout à fait heureux d'avoir, grâce à l'amabilité des troupes aéronautiques polonais, l'occasion de faire une petite ascension. The professor is expressing his thanks to Polish air officers for their help in getting his balloon ready during a visit to Warsaw. After which, this intrepid explorer of the place where the rain comes from decides to take a balloon's eye view of the city. The professor never talks much about his exploits. He prefers to use the gas in his balloon as he floats from place to place, if he can get up. Sir Stephen Killick, Lord Mayor of London, in robes of office, goes on board the destroyer Sturdy at Tilbury, and then steams to Southend to visit the great battleship Nelson. The Lord Mayor is not making this visit purely as a matter of courtesy while the home fleet is in the Thames. Sir Stephen, in addition to his high office, is head of all the concerns the great city of London, and he makes this visit in his capacity as Admiral of the Port of London. Sir Stephen, with his older men, disembarking from the sturdy, climb up the gangway. It's not quite a dignified ascent when flowing robes and swords will get in the way, and goes on board HMS Nelson. Guns salute as the Lord Mayor inspects the great battleship, flagship of the home fleet, in company with Admiral Lord Cook, Commander-in-Chief. And when night falls, the thousands of visitors to South End and the Thames Estuary see a wonderful spectacle. A myriad lights illuminate the great battleships. Giant searchlights sweep the skies in a scene of brilliant fantasy. From bow to stern, along the guns and in the rigging, the lights blaze and twinkle to make a panorama of rare beauty.